money. Here's my favorite story of the day. Apparently, the White House gives out a conference call number to members of the press if they want to call in and be part of this conference call between the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, and the National Security Advisor, Jim Jones. Uh, they're discussing things at the NATO summit. So they give them the number. Mm -hmm. They dial it up. And here's what they get at the other end of the line. Uh, a woman, n clearly not Mrs. Clinton, uh, saying... How do you know? Uh, well, I think it would be... How do you let's know go on record as saying not it's Hillary. not Hillary Clinton. Uh, this is what she said. If you feel like getting nasty excuse me uh, this is going to be one interesting nato conference call Go he on. actually gave out a number for a sex line oh, <laughs> instead of the conference call line are you kidding me this is the most hysterical thing so far that has happened on capitol hill in the last four months <laughs> well you know suppose yeah what is the number what's the matter with you guys the crew feels the outrage well, they were dialing in for Hil Hillary Clinton, the secretary. As it winds up, it was a secretary. Uh, and then the White House had to amend it. They had to send out another news release that said, okay, we gave you an incorrect number. Here's the correct number. And Bill Burton uh, poked a little fun at Fox News at the end of it. What did he say? I think it's totally immature what he, he said. He said, a corrected phone number on a press release is probably one of the stupider things Fox News has covered lately. Oh, really? Well, Bill, get the number right in the first place, and we won't talk about it. As I said, everyone needs a little levity. Poor and, and Andrea anyone, Mitchell. Can you imagine Andrea? Andrea Mitchell on the phone. <gasps> but why, why does Bill Burton, you know, we, we always commented during the campaign about how nice he was to come on our show and, he, and how young he was and how successful he was to ha be, have that position. But this is an immature line. He's showing his age by saying a comment like that. Maybe he's I just think. joking around. So let's give Bill Burton a number to call us. And if we don't get it right, we apologize. He can Bill Twitter Bill, us. He Bill, might if you want to tweet this morning, twitter.com forward slash Fox and Friends. Uh, Let us know if you were being serious or if you were just joking with us. Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of people got Twittered yesterday when they, uh, when they dialed that incorrect number. In a certain way. <laughs> I got it. Uh, okay. In, Sa in South before Jersey. Haroldo, before they come out, let's talk a, a little bit about something that happened yesterday. Good. Uh, in anticipation of the NATO meeting, uh, apparently the White House sent out a press, conference, uh, press release that said, if you want some background and you want to listen to Hillary Clinton and some other State Department guy, here's the phone number. Turn, uh, people would dial into the phone number. Turns out it was not Hillary Clinton. They heard this. If you feel like Putin mess this. Get out of here. It was a really? porn line. It was a <laughs> sex line. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was I wonder how long it took him to too. figure it out. Well, and then Madam Secretary? Yeah, it wasn't Hillary. Madam Wait. Secretary? Wait. <laughs> you must be the undersecretary. Wait a minute. Oh. Is, oh. Did I get Bill's line? <laughs> oh, harsh. Here's my problem with the story, though, Geraldo. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. It's funny. Is that but, true? But here's how, it is true. Here's how the uh, Deputy White House Press Secretary, Bill Burton, responded to it. A corrected phone number on a press release is probably one of the stupider things Fox News has covered lately. Why does he have to be immature really? like that? That's, see, that totally attitude immature? is exactly the attitude that I'm not talking about. Exactly. That's uncooperative. It's surly. Well, it's against it's, Fox News. It's gratuitous. It's a cheap shot, and, you know, uh, get past that. That's I want to bring it to something.